Welcome back to Movies TV Mad. You can follow me on Twitter at Movies TV Mad. Earlier this week, we found the news that the Green Lantern Corps HBO Max streaming show had been shelved and that showrunner had left Warner Brothers Discovery and Warner Brothers Television because basically Zaslav hated his pitch. He spent nearly two years writing eight episodes. So for me, and I think for most people, in fact, I'm going to speak for all Green Lantern fans and DC fans in general. Nobody wants to see Green Lantern on television. Nobody wants to see the awesome Jon Stewart on television. Anyone who's read a comic, seen the animated series, even seen the movie that flopped with Ryan Reynolds, you can see from these kind of, from the comics, from the animation, from the film, what a huge, expansive world the Green Lantern core universe is. We've discussed many times how it's Star Wars in DC. People want to see a bunch of epic movies, not just Hal Jordan, not just Jon Stewart, but all of them, all of them. You know, the ones that were around in the early DC Comics era, all of them. Now, the TV show was going to do this kind of interesting thing where we're going to have one in the 40s coming out as gay, uh, another one in the 60s, blah, blah, blah. There was going to be Guy Gardner teaming up with someone they, they invented, obviously. They, no, not obviously, definitely. They were going to show us that Guy Gardner was an example of toxic masculinity. And it was the progressive messaging that David Zaslav didn't like. So it's very interesting, and I've spoken about this before, because the Hollywood Reporter accurately said that it had been shelved, and um, the showrunner is gone. But they framed it as it's being redeveloped as a Jon Stewart show. It's not. It's being pitched to David Zaslav as a Jon Stewart show. And the only reason Ballant is doing this is to represent a person of colour. That's it. Oh, look, Jon Stewart's black. Good idea. We can now manoeuvre our progressive storytelling to a man of colour, a Green Lantern of colour. I love Jon Stewart. I love how, how Jordan. I love all of them. There's Green Lantern's names I can't even fucking remember. There's the Latino woman who's fucking awesome. I can't remember her name. How about taking all these characters, right? from the past, present, of Green Lantern in the graphic novels, putting them in one big movie series together. They're in OA. They're there. It's a thing. It's a universe. And they go off and they fight against huge threats. We, we've, we learn more about the plan, planet OA. And these are a string of movies. I understand why they wanted a streaming show. There's nothing more exciting than thinking, oh my God, you know, Disney have got, D Plus have got Star Wars, we can have Green Lantern. And if you do it properly, maybe that could work. But for me personally, you're taking something away from the cinematic experience if you just corner the Green Lantern call on HBO Max and stream it. There's some offshoots you can do once you get the movies going. They've got the budgets. They've got the creatives. They've got a DC Studios now. So nobody wants to see a Green Lantern TV show. And me personally, and many of you who have reiterated this to me, nobody wants Greg Belanti moulding the clay of Jon Stewart. Greg Belanti needs to go away from DC. His days are numbered at WBTV, I'm sure of it. Zaslav isn't going to be interested in his progressive shit. And I don't want him destroying more DC characters. So I want Green Lantern, the Green Lantern core, the whole universe in the movie theatre. Everyone does. And hopefully Zaslav and Gunn and De Saffron understand that. Because the potential's there to make loads of, you know, Wonga from this franchise. And I don't understand anyone who owns these IPs, who's going to say, yeah, let's just dump him on HBO Max. No. The Green Lantern Corps, the universe, Hal Jordan, Jon Stewart, all of them. There's so many great characters and villains. You know, Parallax. So many. 
things that you can do. There's so many different colour lanterns. It is fucking huge, everyone. And to say, let's corner it on streaming so we can get some subscribers, for me, is a shit idea. Because as a studio, as a company, Warner Brothers Discovery can make a mint out of the Green Lantern franchise. You know, it doesn't even have to be part of the new DCU. It can be, which is awesome. But it's its own thing. It's so huge. It's huger than anything DC has. And if you get people who understand the mythos, you know, and, you know, and the history of Green Lantern, like Alan Scott, I think, was one of the first lanterns. You can have Alan Scott, you can have Hal Jordan, you can have John Stewart. There's so many of them. And you lot who know, know the Green Lantern universe better than I do, I've only experienced Lantern from the awesome animated series. I thought that was a great animated series. I wanted to know more about the core and the planet OR from that. The movie that actually represents the planet OR really, really well. It's one of the few good things it actually does. So this is, this, there's so much potential. So I'm hearing a lot about Superman, right, back, which is great, because guess what? He's my character. He's the first kind of, you know, fictional character I ever experienced as a boy. He was in the first movie I ever saw. So I love Superman, and that makes me happy. They're going to get Superman's house in order. But guess what? Green Lantern is laying dormant right now. Because that John Stewart TV show is never going to see the light of day. Neither should it under the guidance of Belanti. Put someone who gets this. Put someone who understands the Lantern core. It is so huge with so much potential. And the last thing we want is Greg Belanti being anywhere near it. This has been Movies TV Mad. I admit your host with the most just ask your girlfriends and your wives. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss this beautiful perfection. And I'll see you again in the next video. Until I see you again, goodbye, au revoir, au revoir.